All right, what's up, you French Filipino gamers? Welcome back to Pac-Man World 2. We're back in this really awkward spot that I left off at in that last episode. But I just really had to use the bathroom, and I didn't want to make everybody wait. So, yeah, here we are. We're going to continue this level. I'm basically picking up where I left off, which I don't do too often. But, it is pretty nice. And also, that was really convenient. It's gonna be very handy for, um, speedrunning. When I have to do that later. Oh boy. I kind of want to. I kind of want to focus a little bit for this, because this is really tough. Oh boy! Jesus Christ! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, cock, booba. <laughs> I mean, I do like me some booba. The great thing is that... Whoa, whoa, what the fuck, man? <laughs> the great thing is that you get an extra life every time you die. So... It's not too bad. Anyways, we're gonna play some Soku tomorrow, which is gonna be fun. Can't wait for that. Why I get frame drops there? Kind of weird. I kind of I kind of want to focus for this, honestly. <laughs> Why is that apple all the way there? Do I get a I get a checkpoint? Okay, thank God. That's good. Yes, Boonie. You get to see Boonie some more. Well, they knew you'd be dying, because they just straight up put, like, a crap ton of, uh... They just put a 1-up at the start of each of the sections. <laughs> okay, that's not a, um... Oh, got all the apples. Want that melon. Got all the melons. Want that pack dot. Don't leave me hanging. Got all the strawberries. So that I met did I miss anything? Mm, let's find out. Oh boy. <laughs> Haven't gotten all the cherries yet, apparently. Oh. Hang on. How many damn cherries are left? I got all the cherries. I got all the pack dots, yes! Are you trying to collect all the pack dots and all the fruits? Yes. Yes, I am. Because, <laughs> uh, I've never done that before. So thankfully, I 100% of that level. Oh yeah, I saw you testing out. I saw you testing out Lime 3DS. And how does that? How does that run? Is it better than Citra? Is it better than Lemonade? That's kind of what I'm wondering about. Oh yeah, there is a glitch where if you do a rev roll on the ice, you can actually get a bunch of speed from that.
It barely lags? That's good. What do you mean, barely, though? <laughs> like, it still lags a little bit? frame drops and usual. I don't really like that. <laughs> and sadly, I don't think the time bonus is stacked either. fun so far, though, I will admit. I don't- I didn't read what the time bonus was on this level, so I don't know how well I have to play. But, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> Alright, you guys- you guys can shut up now. <laughs> camera is being a little weird. crap ton of fruits along the way, so that's good. Well, hey, glad, glad to hear how, um, glad to hear how Lime is performing, though. I'm going very risky here. <laughs> My, uh, I'm making fries, by the way. <laughs> I did it! He looks like that big open mouth cat meme when he flies. Oh, I think I know it. Is that the, what's it called? Like the pop cat or something? <laughs> so we got the time trials. That's good. Alright, so yeah. Uh, I'm making fries. They'll be done in like eight minutes. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm gonna 100% this level, because to be honest, I don't know where everything is in this level. This level is really bad. <laughs> it's like one of the worst, one of the less good levels. And you'll, you'll see why. <laughs> For one, if you want to get everything in this level, you have to be extremely precise. You see, I already missed a pack dot. <laughs> I know for a fact I'm not going to get everything on this first run through. So I'm not even going to bother, honestly. I'm just going to try and see how much I can get on one go. So yeah. <laughs> There's just a crap ton of icicles everywhere. This is one of those levels that I'm probably going to come back and replay later in the game. Just to get everything. So, yeah. 
And also in order to, and it's also really a big pay, a really big pain in the ass to get everything. Oh, and also that happens. That can happen. Pac-Man Pac -Pac goes really slow when, um... Oh. Yeah, so I can't get back- I can't go back and get that, by the way. That's just, you know, that's out of the question. Oh. Very cool. <laughs> I think the reason why I don't like this level is just because, um, it has, like, a lot of, um, like, if you miss something, you just shit out of luck, which I don't really like that. There, there's a- you can get up here, I know you can. Okay, that- so that has a token in it. There's another token right there. You kind of have to do multiple runs of this level to get everything anyways, so... Yeah. <laughs> another, re another reason I don't really like this level much. Like, I'll get all the tokens and stuff on my first go-around, at the very least. But I know for a fact this one I will replay. And I might also try and get the time trial, because that, that actually seems like fun. <laughs> it's not a bad level, I just, you know, I'm not too big on it. <laughs> yeah, most of the tokens you can just get kind of automatically, which is nice. Okay, this isn't that bad, actually. Pretty chill. Oh, that w that went badly. You tested out mods, too? How are those? Are those any good? Kinda getting, like... Kinda getting, st like, stutters every now and then. I'm not sure why. It's not like I'm even using that much power to begin with. And plus, we can see what the to what the item totals are when we beat this level. Woo! I'm curious. Is there something over here? Come on, I want that. Look how slow you go. <laughs> yeah, sure enough, there is a token in there. Okay, you need to make a very specific, a very specific turn here. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> This is exactly why I wanted to save this level for this stream, because I knew this level would be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Especially because the hitboxes are janky, too, sometimes on those boxes. The hitboxes on the boxes. But, I figured we get all the tokens on one go-around, and then we can just focus on getting the fruits on another go-around. I'll ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that one for now. <laughs> that that token can that that token can be reserved for its own playthrough, I think. And also, um, I know you need like a certain fruit for the ending if you want to get the Galaxian. And I don't remember what the, I don't remember how you do that.
I think you need like an orange or something, or a melon. I forget what it is. <laughs> yeah, this will be where you get all the fruits. Yeah, you need a melon. I mean, it's not like I got all the fruits anyway, so, yeah. See, I'll come back to that level later. I might do the time trial, though. I don't mind that. But I know that bit, that, that bitch. That one's gonna be a bitch to 100%. Uh, although, it does only take one minute and three seconds to 100% it, so... Yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> so I just had my dinner. And... I think we're gonna try out the time trial in this level. And also, apparently, there's an orange in this level. Where the hell is the orange at? I don't fucking know. We're gonna do the time trial for this level. I mean, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll be fine. I'm gonna immediately go for this four-second clock here. That's not a bad way to start. So I have to beat this in like a minute. <laughs> if I can beat this level in a minute, then we'll be Gucci. So far, we are not Gucci. I imagine it's gonna be a pretty- it's gonna be pretty tight, though. Because we have to hit, like, every frickin' clock. Ah, that was not much. Yeah, and also tight ass jumps like that too. So in other words, just grab every damn clock you see. <laughs> no exceptions. You you need that timer to stay frozen for as long as possible. And never stop holding up. <laughs> Ugh, I hate these frame drops. I don't know why they keep happening. much time left. I can already tell this is gonna be one tight ass time trial. <laughs> I mean if it stays at 51 seconds it's not really a big deal though. Pac-Man just keeps dash dancing. Oh, I appreciate the four second time bonus. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. I think I'm gonna be a few seconds off. Yeah. Yeah, I, that was a bad one. That was a bad time trial. I need to beat 103. And the thing is, is, this one... This one is extremely tight. I mean, I'll try it again. I'm just gonna skip the... The one-up.
And also try not to get hit by the icicles again, will ya? Thankfully the hitboxes on the clocks aren't too bad. Hit every damn box you see. Uh oh. Well, that that went terribly. Even though, even though it's only like a minute long, or at least, well, it's not a, technically it's not a minute long. Oh come on, come on, Pac-Man. <laughs> Come on, come on, get the damn clock. We don't have time to waste, dude. Then there's no time to waste. It's not actually a minute long because the the timer keeps freezing. That's the thing. And you also can't get hit by the icicles. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with the frame drop. It's kind of weird. But I know that I've, I've played this all now, so now I know what to expect from it. Potentially, this might be a level I just have to come back to during, like, the cleanup, because I know I'm going to do a cleanup where I have to do all the levels that I don't like. <laughs> and yeah, that'll be <laughs> not very fun. Look at all these damn icicles, bro. Jeez. I love the- I, I- I- one thing I really love about this game is the leap motif they keep using. Oh, why does that always happen? Okay, no, I'll do that time trial later, because I hate this level. <laughs> I want to get to a new world. But to get to a new world, we have to do this fight. Which is pretty annoying. Like, that can happen, for example. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Come on, Pac-Man. You gotta stop. You gotta not fall. I'm kind of cheese this fight a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, don't fall off. Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> you can kind of do some cheese. And then completely miss. Bro, what the fuck? Uh, okay. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. Oh my, oh my goodness. Christ. <laughs> I 
do oh no <laughs> I I forgot that could happen. Oh. I'm gonna be dying a lot here. Cause I'm trying to do this the quick way, and in the process I'm uh fucking up a lot. Jesus. What the fuck? I want to get to the damn below volcano world, man. Why can't I? Why can't I hit her now? <laughs> I'm gonna go get this extra life here. Come on, just one more hit, bro. There we go. <laughs> Do the Pac-Man dance. Do the Pac-Man shuffle. There we go. Alright, so now we get to do a, a much more decent level. This level isn't actually that bad. Like, um... For, for the first level of the Volcano World, I don't mind this one too much. It's pretty chill, honestly. The second and third levels of the Lava World are a bit less good, but they're still alright, I don't mind them too much. They're just a bit longer in comparison, that's all. So, I forget how you're supposed to get this. I think you have to, like, go up the wall or something. Actually, I don't know if you can do that. Oh, we'll figure it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see now. But you can't do that. So I have these falling platforms. Oh yeah, we also have pukas. Pukas are cool. Why are pukas here? Who knows? It's Namco. Namco just does whatever they feel like. <laughs> but yeah, this is where you have to enter the volcano. That's a much different story than when you're actually inside the volcano, because being inside the volcano is a much rougher experience. Oh, I like these plat. I like that these platforms come back. That's pretty nice. Hmm. They're kind of like donut. They're kind of like donut uh, blocks a little bit. I love how there's just casually a switch <laughs> in there. Yeah, I've definitely 100 percent this level. This level isn't that bad compared to um, later ones. Like, if, if I'll tell you what. The only levels that I actually hate to 100% are the um, the last ice level, the ice skating one. Um, all of the water levels, <laughs> I have barely 100% of those, and I hate the first level of the, of the final world. Those are the only levels I actually hate to get 100% on. The other ones are fine, and the reason why I just hate all the other levels is because um, you're on, it's like on, you're on rails. And because of the fact that you're on rails, you, um, you basically are able to miss shit, and I don't like that. <laughs> oh yeah, th this level is really nice. <laughs> now we actually have some lava. Also, I don't know why, uh, Blinky was going that way. Kind of a weird decision on you, buddy. I do believe um, the game keeps track of your score on each of the uh, mazes. So I mean, if you ever really, if you really wanted to, you could go back and um, try and get a high score in them. <laughs> for what's that? For what that's worth, you know. But I don't know. 
Ooh, something's going on with that lava. <laughs> it's kind of flickering, you see that? Okay, I'm gonna piss off. <laughs> This maze might be a little trickier to do than the other ones. Well, I'll be the judge of that. Oh, okay. I guess Clyde is coming my way. I got those damn pack dots. There we go. By the way, I was looking, I was kind of looking a little bit at the files in this game. And for, for some reason, there are, like, just a bunch of text files that say, like, Pac-Man and, like, some numbers. And that's all that's in the text file. And I had a theory that those text files might be related to the little opening messages for each of the levels. Because... Also, this enemy is really weird. There's only, like, one or two of these guys in the whole game as well. But, I'm assu I'm, I, have an, I have an assumption that they're related to Pac-Man in the opening of each of the, like, the title cards. Which might be the case. And it would be pretty cool if it was the case. So, yeah. Just a little assumption of mine. I really don't know why the game's lagging so much. Like, it wasn't lagging this badly earlier. Okay, there we go. I minimized basically everything. So, if I get frame drops now, I don't fucking know why. <laughs> Sometimes having a bunch of shit open can be bad, though. Oh yeah, for some reason... There's just a platform here. There's just a bounce pad here that takes you to the one-up. I don't know why. I don't know what, what the point of that is. Like, you don't really need that many one-ups. Also, I see a mill in there. Man, I, I'm kind of just taking for granted how nice this game looks in widescreen, because you're not supposed to play this game in widescreen normally. I mean, you might be able to play the... Windows PC port in widescreen, but even that I don't know for sure. So there's a melon there. I think I have to backtrack for that. Yeah. And then that activates that switch. I like how another one, another one of the things they left over from the previous Pac-Man World game is, um, is how, like, they have just a crap ton of switches. So what does that do? I don't think that does anything. Okay, now, uh, yeah, for some reason now there's just platforms. Or the, bu the button's reactivated. <laughs> kind of weird. I always wondered why they did that. <laughs> Alright, we got another checkpoint, and I don't remember if there's anything in the corners. I think there is a level where there is something in the corner. But I could be wrong. Oh yeah, by the way, there's this guy. Check this guy out. To kill that guy, I think you need a metal power-up. But I forget where you get one at. Unless you just jump on him. Yeah, you just dead ass can't kill this guy. Huh. Weird, I could have sworn you were able to kill this guy. And the, the shoddy hit detection. Oh. Yeah, you just can't kill that guy. I think you have to roll into him or something. Maybe. Hmm. Let me try it. Let me try rolling into him. 
Nope, that doesn't work. I forget how you kill that guy. I know- I feel like you have to kill him. Hmm. Like, is, is, he, is he not guarding anything? Hmm. I don't know. Weird. He's just there. <laughs> He's just kind of there. Well, if it turns out that I missed something, I guess we'll know. Also, these weird geysers are kind of annoying. It's like some, we got some pretty wacky platforming here. By the way, I was gonna ask Gonzio to play Tropical Freeze with me tonight, but he said we should do it tomorrow. And I guess we'll find out how true that is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nothing over here. I mean, I hope I didn't miss anything. I have 105. Oops. Oh yeah, so if you grab onto those platforms while they're falling, you basically just can't get back on them. Which is really shitty, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, I remember something. This entire section right here is not in some versions of the game. For some reason, the level just prematurely ends before this, like, whole platform segment. I don't know why they removed it. I think it might be removed in the Japanese version or something. Oh, really? The platform just moved out of the way. That's pretty mid. I hate that the cycle is, like, not in your favor when you respawn. <laughs> that is really stupid. I guess we're gonna find out if I got all the fruit or not. Well, I have all the pack dots, so that's at least good. Okay, fine, here we go. Well, actually, do I even need that platform, though? Like, I feel like I don't need that platform. I can just jump to this. And then I can... jump here. I want that damn apple, man. Give me that shit. How do I get to this? How do I get to that over there? How the fuck? How the fuck do you get to that? It's not like you can roll over there, can you? I'm gonna try jumping on this thing. I think I'm supposed to do this. Oof, barely got that. Okay, uh, we're gonna find out about 100% of that level or not, though. Yep, I did. So I got everything on one go. Now you see how the time- now you see that the time trial says 2 minutes and 22 seconds? These time trials are getting pretty long. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Don't do that. Grab the ghost instead. That'll give you more time. What the fuck? That was really rude. Why would you do that, man? Whoops. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta... 
I gotta reset. I need to fix, um... I need to fix, like, that weird clipping that happens whenever you spawn in. I still don't know why that happens. Dumb thing almost happened that I talked about. All right, we got some free. We got some free time to spare here. Okay, I don't want to miss this cycle, so I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, that weird, that weird tongue guy, he's only right, he's only right there. There's only one of that, those guys in the whole game, I don't know why. <laughs> it's so strange. Skip past that. Yes, I just think he dead ass can't kill that guy. I don't know why he's there. I know he's in a later level and you have to kill him, but that's besides the point. the cycle. Dang it. Almost had it. Can you make that? Can you make that? I don't know. damn cycles, man. The cycles are very important, you know? <laughs> one level I'm not looking forward to, to speedrunning is the next one. The next level has a lot of, like, waiting around and stuff. <laughs> that was very smooth. Give me those, give me those time bonuses, man. I need them. Oh yeah, and by the way, I was working on, um, Down Bad Edition again today. <laughs> I've just been kind of working on it whenever I'm bored and I get the chance. Which is good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of text to go through still, but... It's been pretty fun, and now that I know how to actually properly save my progress in in Star Rod, like I think I'm fully ready. I'm finally ready to make a hack, <laughs> which is good. There's probably some skips you could. There's probably some more skips you could do that I forgot about. Alright, do we get a good cycle or not? I'm gonna... Should I? I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. See, I actually made the cycle that time. Oh, 
Oh, really, dude? Really? I made it last time. It probably wasn't... It probably wasn't up far enough. Man, <laughs> these time trials are really rough. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll do the I'll do this time trial later. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that a lot. No rush. I don't, I don't want to be stuck on the same level for like the entire time. Anyways, here's this level. This is uh, where things get even tougher. Like if you thought shit was tough already, it's even more tough now. Where's my power pellet? There we go. Yeah, because the game introduces these, like, devil ghosts. Which are, um... Yeah, they're pretty tough, let's just say. Oh, it turns this thing off. I don't think that ghost has anything. Um, was I supposed to kill that guy? I might have, I might have, I might have had to kill that guy, I'm not sure. Because I don't know if I'm going to even come back to that guy. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to probably, um, I'm going to probably do that. The thing is, there's no extra metal power-ups, which is the problem. I have a bit of extra time. Come on, get him with you. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> God damn it. Get off me, bro. I'm trying to see if that guy has anything, because I don't know if he does. the cycle or not. Nope. I guess I'll find out if I end up missing a token or not, you know? Because you can't kill that guy. Fuck it. <laughs> if I have to replay this level, so be it. Oh yeah, th this, um... This is kind of like quicksand. <laughs> The, uh, the spiders will drop fruit, too. So, yeah, as you can see, we need a, uh, we need an orange, an orange, to get through there. Which, of course, means doing more platforming above lava. I might keep this episode on the shorter side since I do want to go to bed soon, but I wanted to play more of this game because I know I probably won't get to play this game tomorrow. Because uh, I'm going to be playing Soku in the morning. So Sundays are just kind of busy for me. Because I always have to play in the mornings. Anyways, uh, there's that. So we unlocked more of the level. And that's one thing I really love about this level, is... Also, I heard, like, something shiny. Okay, I think I was just imagining things. I like this level because it has kind of a... It has a really good, like, emphasis on backtracking, but it's not annoying at all. Like, I'd actually find it really enjoyable. Also, I, I saw that. I saw that. 
<laughs> I I did I missed that. I saw that token. Oh, we need melons next. So now we have this little th th these platforms. These little spinning platforms. I forgot there I forgot there's like Oh god. I forgot there's like weird oh oh shit. Oh shit. I'll get that strawberry later then. Yeah, there's like these little spinny platforms. Which I believe are actually in Pac-Man World 1. They're uh they're in that game a lot actually. But I think they only show up in like a couple levels. This one and I think a few others. Now my token count's gonna be all weird because um Yeah. <laughs> because I'm not now and I haven't hundred percent at every level. Because like Ice River Run is where like I really I really just kinda give up. Oh yeah, we have these guys. I forgot what these guys are called. I don't know, they're like, they're like pack cave things. Caveman Pac-mans. <laughs> and they drop strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. Alright, so that makes a little pack dot thing. And that also lowers the lava some more. Yes, yeah, so I think you have to lower the lava like four different times. This little feels long, but it isn't really that bad, actually. I don't know what that did. Oh, made some made some guys up here. Hmm. I don't know if that does anything. I don't think they drop. I don't think they drop anything. Well, thanks for the extra for the extra metal power up. I want that damn strawberry, man. Give me that shit. Fuck you. Give me that. There I go. Oh, I got a free token in there. Why'd they put two checkpoints right next to each other? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, strawberry, strawberry. I hate these cycles, dude. Oh yeah, I love that you can break the sign. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, here's a here's a good here's a good example of um ledges. This level probably uses ledges more than any other level in the game. <laughs> And I think it does a pretty good job with them, honestly. Ow. Kinda want that melon. I'll, I'll take- it's worth taking the damage, I think. Ow. It's not worth it if I die, though. Yeah, the checkpoints are way more generous than I thought. Again, two checkpoints right next to each other. Train I won. Dude, look how dope this fucking background looks, though. I'm honestly like just, just kind of taking, taking um, you know, deep breath and looking at all how nice these backgrounds look, or I guess these maze designs, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. They're just really nice to look at. Oh, here comes Inky, the funny man. Oh, he he just pissed off. T yeah, Clyde really does just do his own thing. He just does whatever the fuck he wants. 
He, he's not out for blood. He's like one of the few rational ghosts. <laughs> he's the only one who's not out for blood. And that's also true in Pac-Mania, I think, too. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have- oh, I don't think I'm gonna have too much problems, uh, 100 percent this level. I mean, I might have to backtrack once. Oh boy. Oh, piss. I hate when that happens. Yeah, it's so annoying. Alright, so here's what we'll do. We'll lure all the ghosts out. And Enki decided to go the fucking opposite direction, that asshole. Alright, keep a very close eye up. On what Kai is doing. There we go. For the longest time, I had no idea that Blinky was actually the red one and Clyde was the orange one. Because I this is my first Pac-Man game, so I grew up with the wrong names. <laughs> I grew up with the names being all reversed. And they only got they only got those two wrong. It's weird. Like Inky and Pinky, you know, those make sense. But, for some reason, they just couldn't make up their minds on Blinky and Clyde for some reason. Also, sometimes it's just impossible to avoid damage here. Just because of how this damn ledge-grabbing thing is designed. I mean, I really love how the ledge-grabbing ledge works in this game. Like, there's something really satisfying about just hopping all the way across the map. Okay, so I think you need to do this. And they need to grab the pack dot. <laughs> yeah, that's really fun. Oh, I got all the pack dots. Look at that. Oh, doesn't like the doesn't the lava like start to rise here? Yeah, it does. The lava starts to like rise slowly. You gotta go like super fast to get everything. Did I get everything even? Hmm. I feel like I missed something. Hold up. <laughs> I totally missed something in that level, didn't I? No, I, I got everything. Okay, never mind. Look at that time trial, by the way. Three minutes and 48 seconds. That is one bitch of a time trial. Let's try it. <laughs> How badly could this go? Oh, oh the, 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 the clock pisses off if you kill that guy. Whoops. Kind of forgot that it does that. Yeah, I know you're supposed to, like... You're supposed to speed through this. Camera being weird. I think you can rev roll around all this. Oh, and fall straight into the pit. Yeah, you can do that too. I love how janky that is. There's something, like it's super janky, I love it. Doesn't really help too much. Yeah, you get like serious. You get like serious speed when you go off the walls, though. You see that? Oh, I don't think I was supposed to grab that actually. It might respawn. I don't know.
But naturally, this level just takes a long ass time, which is why it's not fun to speedrun. Yeah, I think I was supposed to leave that metal thing for later. So I'm kinda now I'm kinda fucked. Well, I'm also fucked because of that. Yeah, you, you, I wasn't supposed to do that. But my dumbass was too curious. I love these freaking devil ghosts. They're great. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Uh, I, I clipped through the level. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. I know there's like a, um, there's a skip in this level somewhere. Bro, fucking stop. I don't remember how you do the skip, I just know you go through the floor. And you can skip, like, the entire level. And speedrunners love to do it. You can also do this. <laughs> yeah, I, I got I picked up like so much speed that I just clipped through the floor. So that like that that's not that's not advantageous at all. That's also not advantageous. <laughs> Hello? Why did it buff? Why did it buffer like that? Why did you do that? Oh, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> Could go for that that wedge, but I don't know if I wanna. I don't think it's worth it. I gotta just kind of raw dog it, you know. Oh yeah, there is a thing with there's a, there is a thing about like increasing Pac-Man's hitbox or whatever, and it basically makes him uh, makes him like able to grab legends or something easier. I do remember something like that. Look at that, guys! We made it to the opening of the level. That ghost, give me that ghost. I hit the wrong switch. No, he's pushing me in the cutscene. How could he? How dare he do that? That's not very cool. Hmm, so question, will it be faster? Will it be faster to take the um the pack? Would it be faster to take that or would it be faster to Ow. I think I have to, because I grabbed the metal power up. This is kind of slow, though. <laughs> I don't really think I should be taking this route if I have to do this attempt again. Fuck you! Why did I take? Why did I die, man? Alright, since this is it's just really janky, I'm just gonna do that. There we go, better. 
Again, I don't think that's really that optimal. <laughs> We're doing a lot better this attempt. The only thing I don't like is that when you when you come back, the camera is all like it's already fucked, you know, like it's it's facing the wrong way. So you have to like intentionally switch the camera back around. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? I'm just gonna get a head start here. I'm not on top of the platform. For the platforms. Oh, that's a really bad platform cycle. Jesus. Okay, so I never hit the right the right switch this time. Yeah, there is a metal thing here. Nice, and he turns into a clock. He turns into a clock when he dies. Question is, does um does my does the metal thing keep going when I'm in the cutscene. For all to find out. I don't know, I think it did. I barely made it. I'm gonna uh, do this. What the fuck? Are you kidding me, bro? Yeah, I'm not in the I'm not in the mindset to be doing these damn time trials. Like I have to, I'm gonna have to come back for these ones because they're really obnoxious. I wanna get this world done and then go to bed. Cause this world is a pain in the butt. Especially if this one's all this all wasn't much better really. And then we're not even going to talk about the boss. The boss is awful, awful quite, quite frankly. <laughs> I think these guys drop fruit. Yeah, two of them drop fruit. Hmm, I hear something. I feel like there's a token up there. There is. How the hell is there just a random? Why is there a random like just pack dot line here now? <laughs> hey, we'll see how many tokens we have once we're done with this. Like once we're done with this episode. Oh yeah, I see. I knew there was a token in one of these corners. I wasn't crazy about that after all. Oh well, yeah, this room right here kind of sucks. So th the problem with this room is there's g there's a guy at the very top of it who's randomly gonna start shooting shit at you, and I need to get to him before he knocks me off. Okay, yeah. So he does die when you kill him with a with the steel ball power or whatever it's called. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Oh, hang on. I wanna get that orange over there? Yeah, I never really thought about that. But the, the, these uh these fruits look kind of realistic, don't they? <laughs> They're very, like, hyper-realistic looking fruits. And I think if I hit this switch now, it makes a platform show up. 
But the music in this level goes hard. Forgot to mention that. Actually, all the lava world music goes hard. And I'm out of juice. Great. Actually, I might just save the boss for next time, then. What I could do next time is I could boot up the PS2 version, <laughs> and we can play that. That could be fun. It's gonna be the the extensive list of Pac- This is gonna be the extensive series of Pac-Man World 2. I'm not- I'm not sure if I wanna... Oh, these guys just respawn. Okay, that's just for points, I guess? That's a bit weird, I forgot about that. Ow, thanks for hurting me. There's randomly just purple ghosts here. Those are like the basic bitch ghosts of this game. Oh yeah, so here's here's the confusing part of this level. You have to, um... You gotta like, well for one, you gotta eat all these pack dots while not falling into the lava. That's also, that's a challenge, <laughs> for one. And also, you have to do like... I don't even know, man. I was watching that that video that I was talking about in the la in the first episode where he was commenting on level design. He brought this level up because apparently this level is really is really bad in particular. Oh, these guys are gonna keep respawning. Why do these guys respawn though? I don't know, but I guess I'll go for the Galaxian. Oh yeah! This mat, this maze. This maze always reminded me of chocolate. <laughs> this maze really looks like you're just walking on chocolate. And yeah, I still I still agree with that. It still looks like chocolate. It's the chocolate maze. Ooh, so scary. <laughs> And also, this level is where I learned the term Magnum Opus. But since it's a pun and it's Magma Opus, I never really understood the... I never understood the pun for a long time. <laughs> That's what I like about this, this game, is it has a couple of, uh... It has a couple of puns in the names of the levels. Which I've always found really charming. Yeah, you do you do your own thing guys. You can stop harassing me now. And there we go. Yeah, cuz it's, it's almost midnight, so I would like to get this level done. It's important to set goals. Okay, so now we have to kill that guy. I don't remember what the point of that is. <laughs> yeah, like actually, what is the point of this? Oh shit, oh shit, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. By the way, apparently in the original version of the game, the, um, the metal bat, the chrome power, I forget what it's called, I think it's called like the chrome baller or something. Apparently that only lasts for like 20 seconds. <laughs> 
Anyways, we gotta we gotta speed run this. We gotta get this. We gotta get this token, and then we gotta dip, and we gotta run back. Far. Why is it so hard? <laughs> I gotta try. I got. I gotta try and do this like extremely fast. And then I gotta like rev roll all the way over there, you know. Okay, that that's definitely gonna help me. Come on, get back. Yes, I did it. Okay, so you're supposed to, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to you're supposed to dash off of this thing. It's really weird. <laughs> I see his point though. I wouldn't I honestly wouldn't have thought to rev roll off of that. It's kinda weird. Anyways, you get another checkpoint. Well, for, so for some reason, you can't eat those guys. They don't. They just straight up don't give you a power pellet for them. I don't know why. There's another checkpoint. You have to jump off of that. I don't know what the point of that platform is either. Yeah, cause I, I my my eyes have kind of been killing me today. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do this. I tried taking a nap and that didn't really help. Oh man! I think they come back though. Yeah, there we go. Also, no need for that platform. Spiders. I think they're called like are they are called like pack spiders or something? I don't know. What's this level's deal with just spawning in at like a bunch of random enemies? Oh boy. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> like, hey, here's like six enemies, and we're gonna keep respawning them for a little while. Hmm, this, this token might be a little annoying to get. Yeah, I got it. Anyways, here's arguably the worst part of this level, right here. Is this little fall where you, it, by the way, the physics are extremely janky here. I'm just gonna warn you guys. <laughs> it's not intuitive at all. And also, for some reason, they kind of gave you the illusion of choice. And if you want 100%, you gotta go the hard way. This is a tough, a tough path. Yep, you gotta get all the fruit, get all the fruit, and you also have to get the, you have to, you also have to get that token too. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Thanks for the checkpoints, sir. Very generous. They put like a checkpoint after like each damn section, so they knew how tough this part was. You had to do all this in one go, like, could you imagine? <laughs> Can't get that fucking token, what the hell? I sure hope I don't lose all my lives on this, could you imagine that? Oh boy. I still find it weird they didn't make that as death noise in uh, Smash Ultimate. It's really weird. And then I missed the orange. Can I get that orange still? Maybe. Maybe if I try hard enough. I just barely can't get up there. And I, 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 I swear to God, I can get that. Oh, so close. Like, goddamn. Oh my 
god, I'm gonna try this. Nah, I might as well just take the L then. It, it takes so long to register that as a death. It's kind of weird. I don't have any problems with getting the orange and the apple, but... Getting the... Oh my god. <laughs> nice camera angle. Is there like a way I can slow my momentum? Fuck. I don't know if there is a way I can do that. I don't know. Why do they have to put this damn token in the orange, like, right next to each other? Come on, man. Why? <laughs> why is it so hard to get both of them? Like, you either get one or the other. You can't get both of them at the same time. And then if I try to go to the... If I try to go to the left side, I just end up dying. I'll make a save state in case I run out of lives somehow. Bro. Actually, I th wait. What's higher up, the token or the orange? I think the token is higher up, so it'd actually be harder to get the token. <laughs> and the last thing you'd want is to get that checkpoint by accident and then not be able to 100% the level. Got it. There we go. That is hella tight. What the hell? Why'd they make it like that? Melon. Apple. I think we got everything. Yep. Oh, there's no, like, there's nothing there. Okay. You guys want to start the next episode with the boss? Also, I miss a token in that level. I, how did I miss a token? What the hell? That's weird. I think that's the first level I've actually genuinely missed a token in. I don't know where it was at. Weird. I'll, I'll look at a guide later if I can't find it. So, I gotta replay that level three times then. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Anyways, next time we play this game, we will do the boss. The boss sucks, by the way. I mean, that should be pretty obvious. So, yeah. <laughs> but, I'm, ha I'm having fun with this game still, even if I, you know, get frustrated pretty easily with it. I'm contemplating whether or not I want to, you know, just play more of this game, or if I want to play the uh, PS2 version. Because, I don't know, it might be too soon for the PS2 version. I think it might just be better to do, like, a full run-through of this game, and then I can compare. Well, I don't know. Then again, if I do the PS2 version sooner, I can notice the difference is a lot easier. I don't know. But either way, guys, thanks for watching Pac-Man World 2. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And I will do more of this game probably on Monday or Tuesday. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But I'll see you guys later, alright? Take care.